The National Emergency Management Organization, NEMO, and the Ministry of Infrastructure, Ports, Energy, and Labor continue to assess damage sustained following the heavy rains that occurred during the early hours of Thursday morning. The rains were due to a combination of weather systems a mid to upper level trough together with an upper level jet stream. The main access route between the north and south of the island, the Bad Lil, was damaged, disrupting travel. Overnight teams worked to stabilize the section of the road in the aftermath of a landslide. Hamadi Mark has that story. The Ministry of Infrastructure is spearheading an emergency response to a landslide that occurred along the Badalil as a result of high-intensity rains early Thursday, April 29, 2021. Minister for Infrastructure Honorable Stevenson King at a media briefing said the situation is being managed as contractors are undertaking remedial works to bring relief to residents and commuters. So today, as you've been told, we are here. There is a contractor on site. Uh, attempting to bring what I call temporary relief to the situation and that includes um, the piping of the existing drain northbound to the left to allow for the continuation of the water to flow but um, preparing it in a way that will in increase the, the, the carriageway to allow a two-way traffic in the next few hours and for the next few days and maybe weeks while the geotechnical investigations are done and the necessary engineering and other design um, act activities are taken for possible future intervention. Speaking to the seriousness of the situation, Deputy Chief Engineer in the Ministry of Infrastructure, Len Leon, says the landslide revealed erosion of the undercarriageway. The situation, he explains, requires further assessment to decide upon a permanent solution. However, plans are underway to mitigate the issue and allow flow of traffic. As you can see behind me, is works going on to extend the carriageway on the upper side of, of the carriageway. This is being done using crushed stone. Uh, we've already embedded wasco pipes underneath to continuously have the, the surface runoff water being able to continue down the bad lil. We, we are filling up right now with pressure run. We shall compact it and stabilize it. And then we shall put an asphalt surfacing on the top to make the actual carriageway hopefully at least 6.3 meters wide, allowing vehicles to move in both directions. Permanent Secretary in the Ministry of Infrastructure, Ivor Daniels, says they are working with utility companies to ensure these services are restored. I believe the, the power is, is restored. The, the water supply, I do not believe that there's much of, a, of it going through here. But I think the other utilities, like, like Flo, um, perhaps are now trying to restore their, their own um, utility. But I think one of the critical ones that we know is, is electricity, yeah. it is energy. So that has been restored in this area, making it as safe as possible. Because we also need to maneuver sooner or later an excavator below there. And it has to maneuver very safely to ensure that we can restore the retaining wall. Superintendent of Police Elvis Thomas on the safety of pedestrians says there are mechanisms in place to accommodate emergency personnel and people traveling to and from work using a shuttle system. So what we are doing, we have persons on, on either points managing who comes in. Um, persons can walk to a certain point. There are shuttles that are available. We have persons on the ground who will manage how persons walk through the area is not just a matter of coming through, but they will have designated areas to go through. There are persons who are assigned to ensure that those persons walking through are safe and no accident happens. So we want persons to um, be rest assured that we are doing everything um, in our power to work with them to ensure that they get to work, but at the same time, the work here is completed. The superintendent cautions the public against spectator visits to the site and asks for cooperation and patience as the situation is being remedied. From the Government Information Service, Humadi Mark reporting. The Met Office is urging the public to be cautious as the weather system will continue to cause cloudiness, showers and isolated thunderstorms over the eastern Caribbean region.